B&J Civil Works is celebrating their 25th anniversary with a span of activities planned for this year. Today, they hosted a career talk at the Better for Wachton Secondary School with the B&J Managing Director, Beverly Tapp, the First Lady of Guyana, amongst others. They gave an insightful advice to the students gathered. As a man or woman, as a youngster, you need to aspire in the same way, whether boy or girl. Right? In order to achieve, you have to aspire. And I trust that when you would have graduated, that you will choose whatever career you want. Technology is moving at a fast pace. With this in mind, First Lady Sandra Granger spoke of the importance of being knowledgeable in science, technology, engineering, and math. You are required to have knowledge in STEM. As Mrs. Stapp said, you have to know your English because you have to communicate. But you must be proficient in your science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. And I hope you will have uh, be, be, become interested in robotics because robots are going to be doing 60% of the jobs in the near future. And 70% of our jobs will require knowledge of computer science. I read, I think it was a Unifem report the other day that said women's jobs, 90% of the jobs done by women will become obsolete. So particularly for the young ladies in this group, I would like to encourage you to start looking at STEM and the ways you can advance in that those people. After the various speakers delivered their messages, the students were given an opportunity to win prizes with a question and answer segment. Which year B and J Silver Works was established? 1993. <laughs> she observed her surroundings. The students and teachers in attendance at the event were given tokens, compliments of B&J Civil Works. The company plans to continue giving back to the community with a contribution of a boat to Indigenous communities scheduled later this month. For Channel 2 Headline News, Esther Sobers. Thanks for watching Headline News. Leave a like or a comment below. And for updates on the latest news happening in Guyana, click the subscribe button.